everyone, it's Ellie from Elsie Bell's Bookshelf and I am back with another tutorial using um, some freebies from TLC Creates Vintage. Um, and you can only get these freebies if you purchase exclusively from her shop. Um, any listing that she has, you can purchase her, di her digitals and get this free set. So I will have all this information down below, including when the sale is over. So let's hop right in. So she offered eight journal cards again, and um, this time she included three little envelopes. And the kit is called Pink Nature. So it is just beautiful and stunning as usual because everything she does is just gorgeous. So I'm going to show you the cards first. Here I just printed them, um, I guess you could say normal journal card size, like two by three and a half or something. And so there's this one, and this one, sorry about the construction outside. And this one, and you can see the little butterfly in the florals. This one has little bees, and this one's just the florals. This one has some pretty lace and butterflies, and this one has the lace and the bees. So those are the eight cards. And then the envelopes I printed a little small, so you get this one, and this one with the butterfly and the bee, and then this one as well. So, and they just fold. Um, Put these two little flaps in, this one down, and here's the top flap. And you can stitch on the sides, or you can just glue it. So there's that, or you can even just leave it open and have a little writing space inside. So I want to show you the different sizes that I have printed these. So there's the regular size, and then I also printed a little bit smaller. This is like Oh, two by two and a half, I don't know. So there's that. And these are made great like little labels on a page. They would make good tuck spots, pockets. And then I have this size. These are real small. They're like one by one and a half or something like that. And I have five here. I've already used three of them they're just so adorable and these would be cute little tuck spots um, as well and they would be really cute as part of a cluster decorations anything like that then I printed two of them about four by six and these will be great to clip to a page um, you could fold them into little envelopes you can ink the backs or spray the backs whatever you want so it's very versatile what you can do with her kit. And then I also printed the envelopes bigger, one to a page, so this is the size that they came out. And on this one I just stitched some lines for the addresses, I really like that. And I'm going to fold this up and I'm going to glue it closed. Because I'm going to put this in one of these journals, one sec. Okay, so now I have this really beautiful, look at that lace, um, envelope here that's ready to be addressed. I don't know if you can actually use this, but you know, it just looks nice. And I'm going to stick, not these, big. I am going to put two of these journal cards inside of here. So you have like a little mail, and it's cute. And these I have already closed. This one I closed with glue. And this one I stitched with some vine stitching. So there's those. Really cute, really beautiful. And there's so much you can do with just this journal card set. And the great thing about it is that even when you print it big, such as like this, this is a full page and I only had to cut um, an inch off the top and the bottom and these are going to be envelopes as well because these are going um, 
to be stuffed with junk, junk journal goodies and two are going to be in my shop and one is going to be Happy Mail. So as you can see that the quality is still just absolutely perfect no matter what size you print. And this one I stitched, that cute little bumblebee there. And this one, I think I, I glued it. Gorgeous. And then I also made two journals out of these and another one of her kits, actually two of her kits. So on the front here, I tied it closed with this sari silk that has the different variations of green because I thought that it matched the leaves um, that she used in her kit. And on the cover, I put a piece of lace from Alicia. And this is a vintage um, music dictionary piece of a, one of the pages, this right here, from 1909. And then one of her little journal cards that I stitched around. This is a really tiny one and just some buttons. So you can see the journal card is printed in 110 pound cardstock for the cover. And then I just put you know various other papers in here, but I only use the journal cards as the main pages. You can see how gorgeous they are printed in a larger size. I mean, there's just absolutely no graininess. It's just beautiful. So we are going to do, here's the center. And look at the details in that lace when you print it large. It's just beautiful. So I'm going to decorate a couple of the pages in here with you. And okay. And then I have this one. Which I tied with pink ribbon and I used two of her journal cards on the front this time and this is from one of her other kits called Just the Basics Advertising Papers and some more little lace there and this is just a piece of cardstock from a paper pad that I am absolutely in love with. So inside I used her Just the Basics Advertising Papers kit and this is one of the exclusive journal cards and I made it into a pocket. And then on the other side, I used her kit called oh, Botanical um, Dictionary Pages, I believe. I forgot to write it down, but I'll have this linked as well. And you can see that it matches pretty well with, with her set because of the pinks. And they're more muted on the other side, but still beautiful. And it just fits lovely together. So clip that one there and this set is so so gorgeous because you can see how she took the vintage dictionary page and then did an overlay of the botanical images and it's just stunning and so vintage and I also really love this advertising set it's just I don't know how she does it but really really stunning so two of her kits are in here and I'll have each one individually linked below so if you like them definitely want to go get them and get your free um, pink set as well so there's that one and this one will be in my shop I am going to add a tassel to each journal and some more decorations so I do want to do a couple pages in here so maybe like on this one to do a little punch and just a little inking around the edge don't need very much just to make it stand out a bit then I think I'm gonna take some of this lace from Alicia and by the way I got this idea from Fermita if you put the ribbon on your scissors it's harder to lose them underneath your piles and piles of junk. So I am going to glue this lace down here at the top. Just a little bit to hold it in place. Then I'm going to glue my little 
label right over that. So it's perfect little place to write like a date or a title. I really like just putting those on a page. I think it's it's really all you need if you do just a little bit on each one. These are more writing journals. Let's give that a second here. All right, so I like that. Then I'm going to go to another white page, I think, and I'm gonna add a piece of this really pretty washi that I think goes well. And I'll do it at the bottom. And then I want to put a Tim Holtz word. Um, let's do it's hard to choose. Make me a promise. And I am going to ink the edges just a little bit. Just so it stands out a little. So there's that. I know you like that. And then I think I want to make some tabs for the sides. I like a journal with lots of fluff. So I'm going to staple. So normally I would stitch, but I can't right now. And I'm going to add another one on this page. And I think I'm going to use one of her journal cards in the mini size. So I'm not sure how you guys um, resize your um, images on your computers because I do everything and I mean everything from my phone. It's amazing what you can do with your phones nowadays and I run my business, I print, um, you know, resize everything just from my phone so I use an app called PhotoGrid which gives you some options so that is what I do. I had a computer and it got hacked and um, had a virus and I couldn't get it fixed so I just don't bother anymore. Then I have this burlap piece that has a white strip and I'm going to cut off the wire on the edges and cut this in half. I do want to use one piece as a tab. So let's see, let's go to the other side this one. Not too close to the middle so that we can use our closure. I like that. And then I have just this piece of fabric and I was going to make a journal cover out of it, but the birds look insane. So I am not. <laughs> but I am going to cut off a piece of this pink so that it matches. And I'm going to cut off the seams. And I could either fold it or just leave it because you can see the print on both sides. Kind of like that. So I'm going to staple that. cute. Okay, and then I do want to do a collage with some of this pocket music dictionary. And I also have this Sears and Roebuck reprint of the catalog. Um, 1979 reprints. So since the front has the pocket watches, I'm going to use 
pocket watch page. And I'm just going to tear a couple off. Oh, right now that one has the pocket watches. I should do this on that one. So I'm going to use this on this one and tear it off. And then I'm just going to ink just a little bit, just barely. Glue this down. Like that. Then I'm going to take another a little mini one and glue this on top. Like this. Then you can either take a piece of washi and stick it across the bottom, or you can use a piece of this. Sorry, silk that I brought down just for this. And glue this on there. Just a little accent and a little bit of interest. Like that. I like that. And you can even take these seam bits, and I think I will, and add them to waste not, want not. And it matches the tab, so. Then you can put like a button here just to finish it off or something if you don't mind the bumps in your journal. Okay, and then I think I want to make some pockets. I apologize if this is getting too long, but I'm having fun. So I have some real vintage Rolodex cards. Um, they are pretty stained and stuff. So I think I'm just going to ink the edge. And I'm going to add, I will add these pocket watches, maybe. No, I don't want to cover them up. So I'm going to use some more of this. This is just real time crafting here. You know, it does take a while to craft and make things the way you want them. And then I might take a piece of this. And I'm definitely going to use another card, but a little bit bigger one. Ink that. Maybe not use this burlap, but this lace. Put a piece on here too. this one with a little B. And I like that. That's cute. So this will be a pocket and this one. Crafting can get messy too, as you can see. And I think I will put it on this page here. And I'm just gonna do on one side and then the bottom. So I have a little tuck spot. Ah, oh, blessed quiet. Guess they're finished for the day. And then I have this one, and I do want to use one of the bigger cards, so I'm going to use a bigger piece of lace. Just put that there. And then take my beautiful card. And you can just use these as tuck spots on their own, but I also love to layer. So I'm going to go to the back and find this other page and do this. Yeah. There. 
Jeez, yeah. All right, so these journals will be decorated more and be in my shop by tonight. And make sure that you go over to TLC Creates Vintage. Purchase one of her or two or three of her gorgeous kits. They're very reasonably, reasonably priced. And get your free um, purple, or not purple, pink nature journal cards because you can do so much with them not just one thing you have a variety of options so I mean it's totally worth it go there and pick them up and I will see you all in the next video thanks so much for watching bye